Welcome to the clubhouse. 5723 Level 5 Top Secret Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Garuva Disruption Class Amida Risk Class Critical Special Containment Procedures Footnote Gavura class items endanger the inner structure of the Foundation and limits the ability of the Foundation to carry out its secondary objectives. Containment procedures pending full investigation by Overseer Council. Description SCP-5723 re, re, SCP refers to the sudden disappearance of 05-1 on September 8, 2019. The exact cause or reason for 05-1's disappearance is currently unknown, and a top priority investigation is currently being conducted by the Overseer Council to find the whereabouts of 05-1 and the culprit, if there is one. History On September 8, 2019, an 05 Council summit was held. All parties were registered as having attended, save for 05-1, whose presence wasn't detected at the meeting. After waiting an hour for 05-1 to appear, the remaining 12 overseers dispatched units from MTF Alpha 1, Red Right Hand, and STF Alpha 0, Backstreet Boys, to their physical and spiritual residence. Residence. 05-1's spiritual residence was noted to have completely deteriora deteriorated with trace amounts of an unidentifiable concept. Their physical residence, on the other hand, showed signs of a break-in, with most of the windows and furniture being broken or otherwise damaged. No evidence pointing towards the entity of the ma malefactor was found and the reason why the building's security systems did not activate is also unknown. As of writing, footnote, 2024, June 14th, 05-1 is still considered missing, and no information has been found on their current location and status. Until 05-1 is found and safely, safely recovered, the ethics committee is to act, take is to take in on the role. The ethics committee is to take on the role of acting 05-1. One new update. Access. Accessing. Addendum 5723.1 video log. On September 8th, 2049, the 30th anniversary of SCP-5723. A video log was received by 05-3 from 05-1's personal identification chip. Alongside two files, titled readme.md and hi.jpg. The log was dated as September 5th, 2019, but a location could not be located. Following is a transcript of the video log. Forward. The following video was recorded from 05-1's PIC. As such, it is from the point of view of 05-1. How 05-1 was moved from a spectral to a physical form to allow use of the PDI, and actions taken in this video log, are unknown. Begin Log The video begins with 05-1 waking up. They were tied to a metal chair in a pitch black room. A single spotlight was cast over 05 1. Hello? This is. Data redacted. Two gloved hands come into view from behind 05 1. 
applying tape onto their mouth. Oh, you better keep that pretty mouth of yours shut if you know what's good for you. <laughs> 5 one struggles against the tape for five minutes, attempting to plead for help. Another entity believed to be a man wearing a Richard Ricky J. Rat footnote. The mascot of the Frankfurt Animation Company, created in 1928 by Joseph Frankfurt. Mascot costume walks into the spotlight. It looks at 05-1 for a moment before looking behind them. Uh, hey there, it's me, Ricky Rat. Welcome to my hideout, gang. Now tell me, do you see a thief anywhere? Do you see a fucking criminal in my hangout? The entity holds its hand up to its ear and leans in the direction it was looking, pausing as if listening for something. A few seconds later, the disembodied voices of children can be heard saying, Right there. Oh, good golly, you're right. There's the pirate. We might need a very special tool to handle this one. Oh, Brady! Footnote. A cartoon character created by the Frankfurt Animation Company in 1932. Well, here you go, Ricky. The same gloves from before enter the spotlight near to the entity, holding out a rusted crowbar. The entity grabs it, and the gloves leave the visible area. Oh, gee, thank you, Brady. Now, let's see here. How many times am I going to have to use this handy-dandy tool before you tell us how many movies you've watched without me even seeing a dime for it? 05-1 protests from underneath the tape covering their mouth. Did Brady put that on ya? Gee, always looking out for our little trouble cases. Let's get that off, shall we? The entity reaches over and violently rips the tape off of 05-1's mouth. Come on, Overseer, tell us! How many times have you watched the fucking Sour Legend? Footnote. An animated film reportedly made and released in 1986 by Frankfurt Animation. No known copies of the film exist. Without paying for our service, huh? You should be able to afford it. We know how fucking rich you are, mister. Data redacted. And I swear to Joey himself, if you ain't paying us for some down with the man dumbass reason, there's gonna be a handy daddy tool going up that irreverent ass of yours. Isn't that right, kids? Yes, Ricky! <laughs> good, good! So come on! Data redacted. How, how many fucking times? I, I don't know what you're talking about. The entity slams the crowbar down in 05-1's left hand, causing them to scream out in pain. The children can be heard laughing. Fucking shit. We got our own little pen out here in Frankfurt. We saw you pirating Sour Legend and Discount Magic. Footnote. An animated film made by Frankfurt Animation, supposedly released in 1976. Notably, the film contained an accurate portrayal of thaumaturgy, and records indicate that the distribution of it was suppressed by the UIU due to this region. Reason. are fucking everywhere. Data redacted. We fucking see all. Nine times. I watched it nine times without paying. There. You said it. I'm a thief. I'm a criminal. You caught me red-handed. Would you look at that? He fessed up. Well, ain't that swell? Nine times? Wow. 
Just wow. That's gotta be a new record. Get the fucking rack, Brainy. We're gonna have some fun. End log. Upon viewing the above log, O5-2 revealed that she had been the one to introduce O5-1 to pirating. Due to this, O5-2 has been placed under high security, with a majority of MTF Alpha-1 assigned to safeguarding her and her location. O5-1 was declared KIA, and the Foundation is currently undergoing the process of promoting a new council member to take their spot. The location of the video log is still unknown, as are the whereabouts of the entities depicted within it. Addendum 5723 Addendum 5723.2 Follow Up Following the retrieval of the video log, a message was sent to the Frankfurt Animation Company. Footnote A previously popular animation company founded in the late 1910s, Frankfurt only has only recently resurfaced in the industry, having returned from a 60-year-long hiatus. Of note is that the Foundation contained no records of such a company until the retrieval of the above log. A full-scale operation is currently being done to investigate the nature of Frankfurt Animation and their relation to the log. Inquiring about the contents of it. 2. Julie Dale, Frankfurt Chief Executive, o Chief Executive Officer. Julie.dale at frankfurt.com. From Foundation Department of Public Outreach. Foundation.outreach at Skipnet. Subject. Questions. Julie? The O5 Council has recently received a video log from a high-level staff who was currently considered missing, wherein they were kidnapped and brutally assaulted by an entity resembling your mascot. We would wish to inquire on any possible connections this entity has to your company, and if we need to take action in regards to this. Likewise, we would also wish to inquire on the legitimacy of this Rat Opticon. The file doesn't do anything. Dr. Friedrich Haydn, Director, Public Outreach. 2. Foundation Department of Public Outreach, foundation.outreach at skip.net. Frankfurt Animation Board of Directors, BOD at frankfurt.com. From Julie Dale, Frankfurt Chief Executive Officer, julie.dale at frankfurt.com. Subject, re, questions. My dearest Haydn, I have no idea what type of snuff fil film you just sent me, but, and pardon my French, what the actual fuck? Never in my 30 years of working with this company have I ever, ever heard tell of a part of this company that partakes in such cruel acts of violence, especially against such an esteemed organization such as your own. Although the way they did it may have been a bit harsh, I'd like to say that it was more than justified. Our animators work tirelessly in our studio to produce such fine products for you to enjoy. I believe we deserve just a little compensation for that. Regardless, I've added the board of directors to this email. Some of the people on this board have been here for ages. I'm sure they'll have better answers than I do. Sincerely, Julia Dale. All, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. 2. Foundation Department of Public Outreach foundation.outreach at skip.net from Frankfurt Board of Directors BOD at frankfurt.com Subject Re-Questions Ignore this. Forget this. Forget this person. It has Joe's writing all over it. This isn't the first time this has happened. This shouldn't have happened again. Some things are better left forgotten, Haydn. Don't mess with the rat. Readme.md